Hey guys, here we are in my garage. I want to give everyone a tour and show you how I've organized and maybe give you some uh, ideas on how you can organize your garage. So uh, let's, let's go out here. So first, this is a standard two-car garage, uh, common on most uh, homes today. This is uh, in the suburbs of Leander, Texas here. So just a standard two-car garage. So you can tell the, the idea here is park my wife's minivan here, give her a nice space so she can park it in there, have plenty of room on the, either side for you know the sliding doors and the kids to get in and out. And then this side is the workspace. But uh, let's walk through the different organization that we have going on here. So first of all, I've got my lumber here. So obviously when I'm cutting wood, I'm, I'm typically doing it out in the driveway so I want the wood to be easily accessible and I want it you know back towards the the back wall I want it towards the towards the garage door so we can get it out right so I have all the lumber I made this kind of very simple kind of frame here that holds the lumber upright it's somewhat organized here and then my longer pieces there in the corner so that's my my lumber stack and then I've got longer kind of thin pieces you know the Fold, foldable tables, a couple of yard tools, and a little more lumber here stacked against the wall. So that's where I keep all the lumber. Then up here we've got a bike mounted from the wall. Kind of sneaks in here, fits just perfectly between the wall and the, the rail for the garage door. And uh, just two hooks, a little bit of two by four. You just gotta make sure you find the, the studs up there behind the drywall. Simple simple enough for the bike. All right, so in this garage, it had an interesting little kind of jet out there in this corner. So I made use of that by um, installing some shelves. It seemed to make sense for the space. It's kind of an awkward, I don't know if you can tell, but the wall goes in and then goes flat and then comes back. So it was a good, good short space to, to do some shelves in. So I'm going to give you an overview of it here. And I've also got my fishing rod organization there. So just coming in a little closer, I just cut these boards, cut this down from two by fours actually. I didn't have any one by, so I just uh, cut, stripped down some, ripped some two by fours, screwed them into the studs, and then added some hooks to hang various things. And then these strips, just continue all the way to the wall, another strip there and another strip here. And then I just kind of, if you can see into here, I extended it out, added a second piece just to give it a little more support. And this is MDF. This is all some shelves are made from MDF that, uh, that I had laying around. Probably need to reinforce it a little bit, but it's working for now. Mostly just light stuff on here was the idea. And then here for the fishing poles, did a little organization using this is just a dowel rod and a couple of hooks. So I have a hook there and a hook here. Just slide the dowel rod through it. Holds them in real nicely. And then here I've got a little nail to kind of help keep them vertical. So that's what we've got going on over here. In this corner, this corner needs some help. Not quite happy with this corner, but uh, we've got a decent start. I made this shelf with two by fours added some some of these big hooks here to hang the bikes from so you get a little more usage out of this you know i'm hanging the broom there as well works okay tends to collect a bunch of junk though as you can see but it works for now i'm hoping to upgrade that soon all right so here's the main workspace so i have basically two i have this this space to work on and then i have a movable one um so it's just mostly two by fours. And then I, I opted for some nice plywood, nice plywood top on it. And then down below, I've just got a thin piece of plywood, like quarter inch with, uh, it's supported underneath with two by fours. So I basically got these big containers that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's, and then kind of my various tools that I don't use very often down here. And then everything that I use often and frequently up here, along with you know screws, kind of my miscellaneous, my car stuff. Over here, I hung my weed eater. 
which is a nice way to hang that without taking up a lot of space. And then, uh, oh, this is fun. This is, see if we can get the video to get the light on that. This is a little, little workbench I made for my son. He's over here playing. <laughs> but here's a, here's a little workbench I made for him. He enjoys that. He organizes his tools on that too. Say hi, buddy. <laughs> You're being shy. All right, so then we have uh, another workbench. This one's movable, although I need to replace the wheels with something a little nicer. But the idea is eventually to upgrade this to house my, let's see if we can come back over here so we can see this. There we go, lighting. Uh, so I want to eventually move the table saw Daddy. and my chop saw into Daddy. this, integrated into this table. Yeah, hang on bud, let me finish this video. So I'm gonna put those two saws, I wanna mount them in there, make this movable so we can I can easily move it out of the garage to do my cutting and then move it back in. So then we got a shop back and trash and another little project going on there. And then, uh, then the lawnmower, but. So that's how I've organized my garage. Hope that, hope that gives you some ideas. Uh, I think it's a pretty, it's been a pretty functional space for me. Um, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Hey, there's my wife, say hi. Hi, Jack. <laughs>